Welcome back to Mama's Kitchen. Today we're going to make a new recipe called Sherry Cobbler. Hope you enjoy this recipe. Now let's get started. And uh, me and Mallory's going to start our dough. I'm going to put the sugar, or, sorry, flour and salt in here. And Mallory, you want to put the shortening? This is Crisco. Okay. And I'll scoop it in there. Good. Okay, you about to get it in there? Uh-huh. I'll finish up here. Now, Mallory, we're going to knead it around with our perfectly clean hands until it's kind of like meal. Let me show you how. Just got to keep doing it. See how you're squishing that in with the flour? Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to try it, baby? Sure. Just keep swishing the flour, shortening into the flour. You're doing good. What a girl, what a girl. Take smaller amounts like this and do this. Okay, smaller amounts. We're almost there. Okay, I think we're about ready here. Now we're just done a wonderful job. We are now going to do our ice water. And we just let this, <clears throat> just let it soak. There's not really any scaring. You just let it kind of soak in until it's consistent so you can make it dough balls. The water, it's just a little at a time and see how you're doing. Can I have a little more water? This is a messy business. And now we're going to make it into two balls and we'll get ready to roll it out. Okay. That's good. And then get ready to roll it out. Okay, we've got our two balls of dough ready. So I'm going to sprinkle some flour here on this perfectly clean pan. Put it there, and then we're going to squish it down in your hand like this to begin with. A little bit more flour on top. We're going to start rolling it out, <clears throat> and you roll from the middle and go out. Little Miss Mallory is going to help here. And roll out. Start again, turn it around, start in the middle, and roll out. And over here, start in the middle, and roll out. Okay, you're doing good. Go that way. Okay. Okay, you did good on the dough. We're going to stop with the dough for a little bit and, and make the filling. Okay. Okay, we're going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Okay, we're going to mix our cherry and fill in up here. Three cans. Very messy, I would advise an apron. Any of this stuff gets on you, it's on there for a few minutes. Okay, we're going to put in a cup of sugar. Now I'm going to put a little of it in here, and we're going to put our flour, three tablespoons of flour. Smooth and sugar. Just gonna mix it in 
Get all the flour in with a little bit of the sugar and then it'll be smooth. Then we can put everything in. Okay, uh, now we're just gonna stir it up and make sure all that sugar is dissolved. I usually put a drop of red food coloring because it makes it prettier. That's optional. I, I couldn't find it today, so we won't do it. You did good. Okay, I think it's ready to go. We can go start uh, putting our dough in the pan and then the second ball. Okay, we're gonna cut the dough and put it in the pan. It's kind of packed work. Yeah, it's just a patchwork th like thing. It's not going to be beautiful. It's just getting all the surfaces covered. And then we're going to put the filling in and do the other dough. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm just going to pour all the cherries in there. <laughs> Put a cup, but what you might do is put a cup in and taste it, and taste taste the juice with one cherry, and that'll tell you if it's sweet enough for your taste. To me, I could probably go another half a cup, but I'm just going to throw that out there for the sweet homelics. Yeah, and just do the dough the same way you did on the bottom, just patchwork style. Just get it all all boxed in here, and you'll be ready to go in the oven. Uh, it's in, <clears throat> this is from that second bowl of dough. Okay. Turn it off. Okay, I just put uh, patches here. So you juice dead and bubble out if you don't get it totally correct. Get your top on correct. So that juice is what makes it. Okay. Smile here. What are we uh, doing? What am I saying? Start eating! <laughs> <laughs> 